We're looking at question 6 of the May 2024 CSET Mathematics paper. <coughs> this is part A. They said to use pi. Take pi as 22 over 7. Alright. They say the diagram below shows a gold bar in the shape of a trapezoidal prism. Its volume is 2886 cm cube. The length of the prism and the length and height of the prism are indicated on the diagram. Calculate the area of the shaded cross section of the trapezoidal prism. Alright, <coughs> now here you can see that it is uniform throughout. Alright? And as long as the shape is uniform throughout, you can use the formula volume is equal to area times the height. Or in this case, the height would be 31.2 centimeters. It's just like when you have a cylinder, you have the height and the radius. The volume is pi r squared h. Pi r squared is the area of this cross section times the height. So it's area times height. If it was say some sort of cuboid like this rectangular box this width times this length times this height will give the volume but this area would be the area of the cross section length by width and then times the height so you use the same principle in calculating um, the shaded area here so the volume 2886 is equal to the area times 31.2 so the area is 2886 over 31.2 which is what now let's um, do the calculation so what we have 2886 oh no 2886 over 31.2 gives us 92.5 so we have 92.5 centimeters square so that's the area the cross sectional area what else is going on here we said it cuboid shaped gold bar shown below has the same volume as the trapezoidal prism shaped gold bar displayed at A. Calculate the height of the cuboid shaped gold bar. Now remember the volume same volume which is 2886 centimeter cube. So we want the height here. So the height times 30.6 times 8.2 gives us 2886. So the height would be 2886 over 30.6 times 8.2, which would be what now? Um, let's do the calculation. So 2886 over open bracket 30.6 times 8.2 those bracket equal 11.502 so it's 11 call it 11.5 centimeter would be the height all right and by the way remember you know you should be trying these questions even before you watch me work out the solutions. All right. All right. So you should try the questions before watching the solution.
No. <coughs> Let's see what else is going on here. Okay, part B, they said the tropic Zoida gold bar is melted down and all six gold and all the gold is used to make six identical spheres. Calculate for each sphere of gold is radius. Alright, so remember the volume is 286 centimeter cube. Alright. So, for each sphere, the volume will be 2886 over 6, divided by 6 to get the volume of each sphere. Alright, so, 2886. 6 over 6 equal 481 centimeter cube. 481 cm cube would be the volume of each. Alright? You want the radius. Remember, volume is 4 third pi r cube. So 481 cm cube is 4 over 3. And they say use. 22 over 7 for pi, pi times r cube. Let me just use uppercase r for now. So that means 481 equals, and then you multiply out, right? 4 by 22, that's 88 over 21 r cube. So R cube would be what now? 481 times 21 over 88. Let's calculate that. So 481 times 21 equal over 88 equal 114.784 114.784 so r now <coughs> would be the cube root of 114.784 <coughs> so let's reach back for our calculator we want to find the Q root of that number. My where is my calculator? Oh boy. Calculator seems to have disappeared. Let's try and get it back. Alright, so Q root. I don't have a cube root here, but remember when you find the cube root of a number, you say as much are raising it to the power of one third. So <coughs> we raise it to open bracket one over three close bracket equal four point eight six. So we have four point eight six centimeters would be the radius of each sphere all right what else the surface area all right they want the surface area remember surface area is four pi r squared so the surface area will be four times 22 over 7 times 4.86 squared so let us calculate that part of it so that squared equal 
times 22 equal over 7 and that times 4 296.92 so you have 296.92 centimeters squared for the surface area all right that's the surface area of each of the sphere now let's look here oh it will be the last part of question six it says the mass to the nearest kilogram given that the density is of gold is 19.3 gram per meter cube all right so density is mass over volume mass would be density times volume all right now it would be the density time volume in this case would be 19.3 gram per cm cube multiplied by the volume in cm cube what was the volume again um What was it again? 2886. So the volume is 2886. Alright? Um, CM cube. You see the CM cube cancels the CM cube. And the grams remain. So let's multiply 19.3 by 2886 and see what we get nineteen point three times two eight eight six equal so five five six nine nine point eight 5569.8 5, 5, 6, 9, 9, 5, 5, 6, 9, 9, grams would be the mass all right all right so that is it for question six